Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our, uh, our button for being able to go to our uh, menu. And then we can click on our inventory and open this up. And then we'll, uh, in the next one, we'll start, start setting up our inventory and stuff. So, yeah, well, let's just hop into it. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we go to our uh, blueprints, widgets, and we're going to create a new widget here. Widget blueprint. We're going to call this inventory underscore W. And we'll just save that. Open this guy up. We're going to add a canvas panel. Like that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to open our uh, pause menu widget right here. And we're going to add our inventory this and we're gonna put this up above the game menu widgets and we're also going to uh let's see let's create a uh a border we're gonna add this to the canvas panel we're gonna size the border we're gonna anchor it to the full so set the uh, set it all to zero. We're gonna also set this to the top, like that. And you can make this border whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it black, and I'm gonna set the value to point oh one, or not the value, but the uh, the value to zero. But I'm gonna set the uh, alpha to point oh. Or point one, or point nine, point five. Yeah, point five. I do point five. So like that, we're just gonna call this uh menu background like that. Oh, then I'm gonna go into the inventory. And I'm actually gonna go open our main menu and snag some stuff from here. I'm gonna snag all of this stuff up here. So the uh, horizontal box, all of this right here. Horizontal box, the icon image, and the text. I'm just gonna copy that. Go back to the inventory. And I'm just gonna paste that in here. And the horizontal box, I'm gonna wrap this guy with a border. That. Also, this icon right here, I'm just going to reset that. You can make that whatever you want. The border, I'm going to set it to be black. Like that. And I'm just going to rename this stuff. I'm just going to call the border the uh, in inventory text border horizontal box. I'm going to rename this to be... Inventory text horizontal box. The image. I'm just going to call this inventory icon image. Uh, we don't really need that to be a variable, so I'll uncheck that. And the text. I'm just going to call this inventory text and we're just gonna make it say inventory like that and I'm gonna go back to the pause menu and on the inventory uh, we're gonna anchor this to the hole as well and don't don't check size the content we're just gonna anchor it to the full for now like that and we're also going to go down on visibility we're going to set this to be hidden like that and then that should be good should be all we need to do for this for the moment so next thing we're going to do 
Let's go to our third person. Uh, blueprints. Or third person input actions. I'm going to duplicate the jump. I'm going to call this input action pause. I'm going to open this. Or not open that one. We can go back to the IMC default. I'm going to add our pause. Input action pause. Uh, you can make the buttons whatever you want. I'm going to make it P. I would recommend doing something other than escape because if you make it escape then it'll just close down the editor so for testing purposes I would make it something else I'm gonna make it P so like that so let's see so in our um, pause menu I'm gonna go into the graph I'm gonna get rid of event tick and construct or pre-construct and I'm gonna make a custom event called um, button controls and I'm gonna add this custom event to event construct like that then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the game menu buttons we're gonna get the inventory the inventory button and I'm gonna get on clicked bind event to on clicked I'm gonna add a custom event here called inventory button like that I'm gonna add that custom event to our button controls here inventory button so just add that here and then we're gonna make another custom event off of this and we're gonna call it inventory clicks and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our game menu buttons we're gonna set visibility B it didn't like that and then we're gonna get our inventory widget we're gonna set visibility to be visible like that so that should be good so we're making a custom event we're changing the visibility of what we're looking at we're calling that on this button controls event and we're calling our button controls on event construct. So let's add the ability to open our pause menu and stuff. So go to your third person blueprints, third person character here. And I'm gonna comment this right here. I'm just gonna call this interaction. And I'm gonna move this guy. Move this guy over here. And then down here, I'm gonna call input action pause. Right here. And we're gonna make a variable called menu open. It's gonna be a boolean. And we're gonna grab a branch in here. And we're gonna check if menu is open. We can hook this to the started. And what we're going to do, if menu is not open, we're going to create widget. And this is going to be our pause menu widget. We're going to promote this to a variable called pause menu ref. We're going to add to viewport. Like that. And then what we're going to do. Is we're going to get player controller. And we're going to set show mouse cursor. Like 
like that. And I'm just going to copy this player controller here. Then we're going to set input mode to game and UI. The widget in focus is going to be our pause menu ref. Just hook that guy up. And then we're going to set menu open. We're going to set that to be true. So what that'll do is that'll uh, that'll let us open open the pause menu. If you play, you press P, it'll open the menu. And also we got this working. So in our inventory button, our inventory comes up. But now we can't close this. So we're gonna add what we can do if our uh. Our pause menu is open. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pause menu ref. We're going to see if it is valid. Like that. And if it is valid, we want to remove from parent. Move that to the is valid. And then we want to kind of reverse what we did down here. So I'm going to copy this right here. We're going to set show mouse, mouse cursor to be false. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Let me close this. We set that to be false. And I'm just going to copy this. Get player controller. We're going to set input mode to be game only. And then we're going to set menu open to false. So it's going to kind of move all of this. So, yeah. So, if the menu is not open, we're going to create the widget and open it. We're going to set show mouse cursor. We're going to set input mode to game and UI. We're going to set menu is open. And if menu is open, we're going to see if the pause menu ref is valid. And if it is, we're going to remove it from the parent. We're going to set show mouse cursor to false. We're going to set input mode to game only. And set menu open back to false. So, just check that. So if we hop in, we press P. Menu is open. We can do whatever in here. If we press P again, it'll remove the menu. So, yeah. That's all we're going to do for this one. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.